Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. Giving any competitive exam is a tough task. That is why in this video, we will discuss about how to approach UGC net economics, especially on the exam day. Now, majority of the students, they study well. They read the subject, they practice the MCQs, but due to certain mistakes on the exam day or a day before or in the actual examination, they fail to achieve the cutoff marks. The reason is very simple because their approach towards the examination is very different what they have been following since their school, college or semester examination. So here today we will discuss very important things that you can do to increase your chances of selection or to cross the cutoff, especially in economics UGC net examination. For UGC net examination, syllabus is important, PYQs are important, note making is important, reading current affairs is important, and revision is important. For this, Ecoholics conducts three hours UGC net economics workshop, which is absolutely free. The link is given in the description and the first comment to register. Now coming on to the techniques, like exact approach that I require you to follow, especially on the exam day. That is very, very vital because everyone understands how to study economics. They understand what the demand of this examination. They understand approach of solving the questions, reading, studying, and especially solving the PYQs. But here, certain things that people forget and that is where they lack the selection. Number one thing is a revision. Generally, we know things we are not able to execute. Like for example, listen carefully. Suppose I'm reading one MCQ, in that I understand the question, but since it's MCQ based paper, whether we know the answer or we don't know the answer, there's no midway. People say, uh, this is my guesswork, this is what I think, but you know the most important thing, people generally do not say with honesty that I know the answer. So what, what I understand, what I explain to my students in my live classes, strategy session of UGC net, that without looking at the options. So you just cover those options, okay? For example, this is the question and we have option A, B, C, D. Now you just cover these options and read the question and think about the answer. If you know the answer, you will tick these things very easily. That's the one approach that I recommend to my students. But here what people do is, when they read options, they tend to get confused. Oh, answer ye bhi ho sakta hai. Oh, this may be the answer. Or, ye answer ko is tarah se bhi kar sakta hai. Generally, option A confuses. Or they think, no, option A is not there. B on 50-50 between B and C. And that is where you messed up things. So for this, what I say is, revision is important. The approach I told you, I will tell more in the upcoming points, but here revision is the key. Now what exactly we need to revise? Here if I say point number A, formulas. Formulas are important, national income formula. In every economic subject, formulas are there. Micro, macro, public finance, even in growth and development like Herod Domer. So there are certain formulas. We have the formula sheet. Uh, if you want that, we can give you the link is given in the description of my whatsapp number you can ask for that the formula sheet will help you in compiling things for example utility function production function these are the formulas formulas of econometrics formulas of statistics so revising formulas are very important and you should develop or make a formula sheet before attempting this examination so that it will be easy for you to revise Next is point number B, which I call graph. Generally in UGC net economics in the past years, we have not seen many questions directly from the graph. Like a graph is there in the paper or on the screen. But here graphs are important because they will ask if this, suppose MC will move, what will be the impact on MR in market structure? So on the same lines, they ask, questions related to graph, although graphs are not visible on the paper. So graphs are the lifeline of economics. Point number C is concepts. 
कॉन्सेप्ट जनरली वी फॉरगेट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लासिकल वर्सेज किनिशियन then classical failed kinesian came then kinesian stagnated in 1970s so milton friedman and monetarism came so here are the concepts which you need to have a conceptual clarity adam smith came with free market okay then david ricardo said ki obviously you will trade but not based on the absolute advantage still you can trade with comparative advantage then haverler came that's not just comparative advantage it's opportunity cost then hexer olin came said factor endowment so you can understand these concepts developed over the period over the centuries so if you understand the timeline it will give you a picture clear cut so that you attempt these examination with crystal clear concepts point number d is data generally in ugc net we have seen questions directly asking the data this much of inflation this is the Debt to GDP ratio, etc., etc. So data they ask. I would recommend you to refer economic survey for this. This is where you'll get the most authentic data. For our students, we compile and give them 50 odd data, which are very vital, like fiscal deficit, inflation, repo rate, CRR, etc. So 50 odd data. If you understand little bit of concept, like if I say repo rate is 15 percent, you will laugh, because repo rate is nowhere near 15 percent. so here you need to understand so if you understand approximation still you are able to tackle these questions point number e is facts so facts generally people are scared of sir i'm not able to recall i'm not able to revise i'm not able to mug up those facts how to remember it's very easy like for example a committee named by some person so n k singh committee X Y Z committee, poverty committee like Ranga Rajan, Suresh Tendulkar, etc., etc. So here you need to understand the committee linked with the name. This is what we call fact. This is not data. In X Y Z year, this X Y Z organization established. People ask in U G C N E T questions are there. How to approach them? So what I recommend to my students, if you want to remember names. you just see them on google if you just like correlate with the picture it is easy for you to remember like if i say poverty committee by tendulkar so tendulkar means sachin tendulkar ki naam yaad aata hai but if you see the picture you will understand suresh tendulkar is a different person ranga rajan is a different person so when you see it's easy to remember and recall so facts are important so what i say if you revise these things you will cover 75 to 80% of the paper just by revising it properly next point calm and composed both these things are very vital in the examination hall or before the examination always remember that sit on your seat 15 minutes before at least read the instructions carefully instructions on the screen although you know the instructions but still read now you will ask sir why to read when you know the instruction because you come in a reading and comprehension mode if you are reading something you are getting there so instead of reading the first thing as first question it's better to read instruction and get into that flow of reading and comprehending and then answering so it's better when people read those instructions second thing about calm and composed what i say is do some breathing exercise like for example you are sitting in the examination hall inhale and exhale so inhaling for 5 seconds then exhaling for 10 seconds it will calm your nerves down because the time period in this examination is decent enough to read all those questions solve all those question and attempt those questions so what i suggest you that you focus on calming your nerves so that your energy flow there not here so this is how you uh, control the situation next is read the question carefully again i told you suppose this is a question written and we have options a b c d so directly jumping on to the options read the question carefully and try to think the answer for that 
विदाउट रीडिंग द ऑप्शन इफ यू नो द आंसर यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट दैट इन द होल पेपर ऑफ यू जी सी नेट इकोनॉमिक्स यू कैन डू द सेम थिंग इन पेपर वन एज वेल इफ यू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन लाइफ अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन विदाउट रीडिंग द ऑप्शन यू विल श्योरली क्लियर दिस एग्जामिनेशन विद जी आर एफ बट द प्रॉब्लम इज वंस यू रीड द ऑप्शन यू टेन टू गेट कंफ्यूज सो दिस इज अ वन एक्टिविटी विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली मीन्स समवेयर दे आर आस्किंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नॉट सो दैट लैंग्वेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट If you just read something, one word, and you will think that this is the answer, okay, then you will be in trouble. So, reading the question carefully, part by part, break it into two, three parts. If the question is long, and then think about where did you read something about this content, and this is how you improve. Next is attempt the question strategically. Now, strategies are important. in every paper you divide the paper into four parts okay first 20% or first means any 20% of the question where you are confident other 20% of the question ugc net you don't know anything about it because they are fact based direct factual questions if you have read it you will call it, you will like uh, be able to solve otherwise you don't but here the real game is this if you read the questions carefully if you read the question carefully the game lies here because this you know this you don't know and this is where it is and that is where you generally get 50% of the questions between yes or no it means option a or option b or option c or option d or any combination of these two it means in these 40% of these questions okay in these 40% of the questions you know the answer you don't know the answer but you are confused between these two options and the last 20% which is i say an easy part which you will expect everyone to solve these questions if you are a post graduate economics you will relatively easily conquer these 20% of the question so the real game lies here strategically it is important because when we solve the those questions which we know first hand we generally feel confident so if you attempt those question where you are comfortable in you will gain confidence so that real game when you play you will have the confidence but first you encounter these 20% of the question then real game will be defeated so what i say just skim through the questions if you think that micro is my strong area indian economy is my strong area money banking is my strong area do those first if your strong areas are not environmental economics not public finance not international economics stats ecotrics and all don't go there like in the initial 30 or 45 minutes of your paper and the last is managing time in the examination certain questions are deliberately kept to waste your time okay so never take these things on your own like how i am not able to solve this question every question has a equal amount of weightage but every question does not require equal amount of time to be spent on for example a factual question whether you know you don't know it will take hardly 3 to 5 seconds to identify that but if a question related to stats econometrics still you will get the similar number of marks but still it is possible that it can take 60 to 180 seconds it means 1 to 3 minutes to solve that particular question people do these kind of stakes and then at last they hurry and that is where they mark wrong answers so that is what i feel that whenever you are giving mock test whenever you are attempting pyqs always keep in mind that always have a stopwatch and always remind yourself that i should not be investing much time 
on one particular question. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to register for our free three hours workshop. If you like this video, do subscribe Ecoholics to get more content on UGC NAT economics. If you are interested in our live classes and the test series, on our mobile app, we have thousands of MCQs, which is absolutely free. So you can access, you can test yourself before attempting this examination. And if you want to connect directly with me on my WhatsApp number, it is also given in the description. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you.